Hello, I'm Tom Nickel, the Lead Technical Marketing Engineer at Winova. One of the many challenges facing IT organizations today is lost hardware. When a user loses their laptop, it doesn't just cost the organization money to replace the laptop, it also consumes IT resources, decreases end user productivity, and can result in vast user data loss. Unfortunately, lost laptops are something that IT organizations cannot prevent. But with the Winova Mirage solution, IT organizations can drastically reduce the time it takes to get an end user back up and running on new hardware without any data loss. Let's check it out. Ted is the IT manager at an organization, and Bill, who is a remote end user, has just called in to report that he lost his laptop yesterday. The first thing Ted needs to do for Bill is get him operating on a temporary system so that he can still perform his work. With Mirage, Ted can spin up a Windows 7 VM with the Mirage client built into the template on whatever virtualization platform he uses. This will allow Ted to transfer all of the data that was on Bill's laptop back to this VM. After that, Ted will return to the Mirage management server so that he can apply Bill's data to the newly created VM. Mirage keeps an exact copy of each endpoint in its storage, so when Ted applies Bill's data to this VM, it will feel exactly like Bill's laptop when he logs in. All of Bill's user personalizations, user data, and installed applications will be there. And as you saw, Ted did all this with just a few clicks. During this process, Mirage uses patent-pending deduplication technology in storage and network synchronization. This means that Mirage will determine which files on the endpoint are missing, and then only transmit those files from the data center to that endpoint. Right now, the endpoint is Bill's temporary replacement VM. This will result in tremendous time and bandwidth savings, especially when operating across a WAN. Bill's data has now had a chance to download to the VM, and Ted has provided Bill with the appropriate access credentials. Bill goes into the remote New York office, which is closest to him, and logs in to one of their guest workstations. From there, Bill will log into his temporary VM using his organization's preferred remote access protocol. In this case, he'll be using RDP. Bill logs in, and he can immediately see that his desktop wallpaper, taskbar preferences, and desktop icons are exactly the same as they were on his laptop. It's time for Bill to get some work done, so he opens up one of the Word documents he was working on previously. He makes a few changes, saves, and quits. He also needs to chat with one of the contractors that he is working with on another project, but he has to install a new chat program to do that. Bill goes to the web, downloads it, and installs it. Bill's got everything he needs to not let his lost laptop disrupt his work, but this VM is only a temporary solution. Back in San Jose, Ted has ordered Bill a replacement laptop, which is getting shipped to Bill in New York. Once it arrives, Bill will power it up and log into his organization's VPN to connect to the corporate network. From there, Ted will push out the Mirage client to the laptop and begin the rebase process. The purpose of the rebase process will accomplish two critical objectives. First, it will assign the corporate image Ted uses to Bill's new laptop. Second, it will also transfer all of Bill's user personalizations, data, and applications to Bill's new laptop. And this transfer will include anything Bill added or modified on his temporary VM. The rebase process has just completed, and Bill has logged into his replacement laptop. The first thing Bill notices is that his personalizations, like his desktop wallpaper and taskbar settings, are still intact. And he can see that all of the applications and desktop icons are still there also. At previous organizations, Bill has had problems with replacement laptops missing critical system drivers, so Bill wants to go into the device manager quickly just to make sure that everything got installed properly. Bill is glad to see that all of the drivers have been installed properly. We're off to a good start, but Bill won't be able to accomplish his work if all of the right applications didn't get installed properly as well, so let's test those quickly. FileZilla and Firefox are both part of the base image that Ted applied, so let's try them first. Next, let's make sure Yahoo Messenger is still working, which is an application Bill installed on his temporary VM earlier this week. And finally, let's also see if the Word document Bill was working on from his temporary VM got transferred over with all of the latest modifications. As you can see, everything is right where it should be and functioning properly. Before we conclude, let's talk about how Mirage was able to accomplish this rebase operation so effectively and quickly over the WAN. Mirage breaks up the rebase operation into two key parts, the prefetch phase and the streaming phase. 
the prefetch phase will only transfer the data to the endpoint that is required to get that endpoint working. After that, the user can log into that endpoint and resume their work, and the streaming phase will transfer the rest of their user data back to the endpoint in the background. And regardless of which phase we're in during this rebase operation, Mirage will never transfer data that already exists on the endpoint, and will compress the data that we do send, which further increase the time and bandwidth savings. In this case, we only had to transfer about half of the files that were required, and we were able to get Bill's replacement laptop up and running in about an hour. Back in New York, Bill is happy to see that everything is in working order on his replacement laptop. And back in San Jose, Ted is happy that he was able to get his remote user back up and running on a replacement laptop without disrupting their productivity or losing any of their user personalizations, user data, or user installed applications.